Welcome back to another Civilization 6 playthrough. I am extremely excited for this playthrough. They, first of all, thank you for all the subscribers and people who left comments and whatever YouTube things that YouTube does. <laughs> it's a lot of fun in, in interacting with everybody. Second of all, don't be afraid to leave a comment, especially for this series, because this is my first attempt as a no campus science victory rush or not a rush but no campus science victory game i have a plan it's a three-step plan foolproof here are the game seeds and stuff like that they'll also be in the description below the video we're also going to give kanda a second chance if you watched the last playthrough they did uh, really horribly we'll do we'll, we'll do this one we'll give him pink maybe it'll do better with pink here is our starting location it looks pretty good I'm just kind of looking for a lot of flat land around the area. So let me tell you about the three-step plan to victory. <laughs> First of all, one is war carts. We're going to build several war carts and take over our nearest neighbor to get additional cities. The second is these things. We're going to build these everywhere. Literally everywhere. <laughs> but what I mean everywhere, I mean every tile. The next thing is we really want to get this wonder right here. This wonder is really, really good. We need to find at least two scientific city-states. So if you don't know about this wonder, what it basically does, if you find a scientific city-state, it gives that city there, that whatever built this wonder, plus 15% science. Okay? And if we have two scientific city-states, a 15% boost applies to all of your cities. And this, you know, also works with policy cards and stuff like that. So it's, it's a really good wonder, especially when we're not going to have any campuses or great scientists or stuff like that. You'll also notice that I am playing with some mods. The mods, you know, the description and stuff will be in the description of the video. They're just UI mods. I'm trying to try them out, trying some new things and see how it goes. But let's... Get this started with a scout, and let's look around here. It looks like we have Aya Sahara right here. Just a bad, bad natural wonder, but it is what it is. Just met our nearest neighbor. Uh-oh. <laughs> this one could be a problem. They're usually militaristic civilization. Maybe we should just take them over right away. Our first tribal village. Let's hope for something good. Actually, a builder would be really, really good. New pop? Okay. New population is acceptable. We have really horrible, horrible tiles that work. We should just kind of buy one of these. We need to get a better production tile. Let's use the power of Gilgamesh's unique epic quest ability. Receive a tribal village bonus. Let's see what we get. All right, inspiration to Milter tradition. That's pretty good. Just got our war cart and it could have come at a better time. Look at this scout or this slinger just sitting there trying to come after us. We're just going to build another one. We need to get two or three of these, maybe four. Thirteen. That's, this city should be pretty easy to take over. Looks like they have another one right down here. Whoa, look at this one. This barbarian village is spawning a ton of units. We should just get this one and then get out of here. There are a lot of barbarian villages around us. Look, so one over here, one up here, and one down here. Maybe we'll get three war carts, take all these out, and then go after Scythia. For our second tribal village, come on. Settler? Archery bonus? Eh, that's okay. Let's get started with our unique improvement. There we go. Look at this tile. This tile is actually really, really good already. Oh man, the barbarians are coming hard. We need to back up here. Let's let's attack one of these. There we go. We have basically raging barbarians everywhere. Look at this. This is just crazy. We can't attack here. We need to back up to make sure we do not lose this unit. They are trying to pillage everything. I saved one build left here so we can just improve it. As we go, we have to take out these slingers. Man, so much stuff. I mean, these barbarians are already causing issues. Looks like we can take this out. Come on. Yes. <laughs> and we got a nice Eureka bonus. Got a military tradition. This should make our combat much easier. There we go. 
Just unlock that Pantheon and our favorite one, Religious Settlements, is not there. Right now it's a choice between this one, plus one production for every marsh oasis and desert floodplains. We get a couple of production there because they're going to have our unique improvement on there. But I'm just going to choose fertility rights. We need to get city growth. We need to get our cities as basically as tall as possible to work all these amazing tiles. Plus, we get a free builder. That means another. <laughs> More science. It's time to denounce Scythia. Let's just do it. We have three war cards. We're pretty much invisible. 81 combat strike. Come on. Time to change our pall to maximize production. We're going to choose maneuver and urban planning. Let's do this. What? Well, we're just passing by. They just founded a city right here. Man, it's so close to us. Maybe we should just go after them instead. Time to denounce our other neighbor. Maybe it's probably not the best idea to basically denounce everybody. We're going to wait until the next era to clear this barbarian encampment and also found our city in the next era too. There we go. Golden era. This is just perfect. Let's see what everybody else is doing. Oh, they all got golden era too. Okay. For our dedication, we're going to choose Monumentality. We really, really need to expand, and we are kind of behind in that, so that's what we're going to choose. Let's take out this Barbarian Encampment. There we go. Free promotion, 20 faith. Let's found this city right here. Looks good enough for our business, and immediately build this Iron Mine. Let's do it right now, Casa Spell. Declare four more. We have all of our war carts here. Let's just bring these in. Oh, oh man. We got this city down in no time, hopefully. Here we go. We got it pretty much this turn, I believe. Yeah, pretty easy. Let's just do this. Our first city, early empire, because we now, now we have six population. That's how you do it. You just get early empire to get six population. You don't need to actually found cities. Come on. This city is going to be difficult to actually keep with loyalty. Let's buy this tile here. Make sure we're working that one over there. We're also going to assign a governor. We'll just put this guy in there. Minus 10. That's not too bad. As for policies, we're going to use this one here. And colonization, we need more settlers. So with loyalty and stuff like that, this will be perfect. We're also going to finish our next war cart. That'll be one, two, three, four, five war carts. That's plenty. That's plenty for now. We're slowly bringing in our war carts over here. Let's completely surround this city. They're trying really hard to take us out. This is a little bit of a pickle here. This heavy chariot's attacking us every turn. We're going to use this one to take out this one. There we go. Hopefully, ooh, this one won't be able to attack us. No, if we get the free settler, that would just be amazing. Let's just attack this thing there. And we're going to attack this one here. And we're going to sit here and heal this one. This one, I... I hope it's going to live. I am not entirely sure. We'll just move this over here. This is going to be close. Ooh, we can't take it out. It looks like this thing is going to kill our our war cart. And this one over here. We need to run away with this one. See what happens. Oh, it lived. Okay, perfect. They will give us peace and they'll give us gold per turn. But look at this. We can do this. We can take over their city. Let's just do this. Get another city. We got it. Yes, we got it. Let's make peace. 170 gold seed in these two cities. This is just perfect. They have a lot of grievances against us. This city is also going to be super hard to keep. Ooh, I don't know if it's going to be possible. We'll keep this war cart fortified right here to block in their remaining settler. Maybe we'll go to the war with them in the future once we get knights and upgrade our units here. If we look at our capital, oh man, I brought this warrior back to deal with this scout and also this encampment if it can. With the gold we got for peace, we're just going to buy another war cart. We're, we desperately need it to you know, make sure our empire doesn't fall to the barbarians, which are just spawning basically from everywhere. This has been a good episode so far. We have, what, four cities about to get five and six. I think we're going to found this city down here. I'm trying to figure out a good plan for a industrial zone, dam, aqueduct, trifecta thing down here. It's going to be great. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. 
We're at 9.6 science per turn. That's actually kind of bad. We need to get these settlers going and then basically get builders everywhere we can. All right. Thanks for watching this episode.